Hello, I'm Bill Gerstel. Thanks for buying the Fire Piston Kit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble it and use it. It's not too hard to build. It just takes a little bit of time. Let me start off by showing you what comes inside the mailing tube. Well, these are the things you need to make your fire piston. Let's start out with these. These are two neoprene or Buta N O-rings. This is uh, a piece of polycarbonate tube. This is a phenolic knob, and inside the knob is a metal insert that's uh, threaded. This is a small piece of polycarbonate tube. It's called the plug, and this is the most important thing of all. This is the polycarbonate rod, which is actually the piston in the fire piston. You can see that there's screw threads cut in one end. There's a divot for the tinder to go into there, and this is uh, an important groove to hold the O-ring. It's been fairly precisely cut, um, so it'll work just uh, exactly the way it's supposed to. There's other things you're going to need as well that aren't in the kit, but they're simple to get. You'll need some sandpaper, you'll need some epoxy, and some petroleum jelly. Okay, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to sand down the rod so it fits inside the tube. Look, as it comes out of the box, the rod is too big to fit inside the tube, so you have to sand it down. So grab a piece of sandpaper and start sanding away, just like that. It's not going to be too long, but it's not a real short job either. It takes some patience, so get comfortable and start sanding away. Check it at intervals so you, know, uh, so you don't over sand. The next step is to attach the O-ring to the piston. Now it's a little bit tricky, but not too hard. What you do is you put your thumb against the O-ring against the piston, then take the small bladed flat screwdriver and just kind of pull it over the end until it fits in the groove. Okay? Now, you'll see that while it, it fits only up to the O-ring, that O-ring is too thick, and that's by design. Now, what you're going to have to do is sand the O-ring little by little until it's a perfect fit. The O-ring is what seals the pressure inside the piston. So what you're going to want to do is little by little sand this O-ring just like this against the sandpaper. Look, you can see some of the rubber coming off onto the sandpaper. Getting this O-ring to seal perfectly is a bit of a trick. That's why you've got two in case you mess up the first one. Okay, that took a while, but I think it's ready to go now. Um, what I'm going to do now is put some petroleum jelly on there to lubricate it. That's just about a perfect seal. Okay, now we're going to seal this tube. In order to do that, I'm going to take this plug and insert it in the tube. But it's like uh, it's too fat to fit, so I'm going to have to sand this one down as well. I've sanded this down so it fits inside the tube just perfectly. What I'm going to do now is apply some epoxy in a, a, a ring around the bottom of the plug. And I'm going to get it smeared on there nice and uh, evenly. It's got to go all the way around so there's no gaps. That looks good. Now, it's just a matter of inserting it inside the tube. about to there and I'm going to put a little bit more epoxy on the side just to make sure there are no leaks. It's very important, critically important, that there be no leaks whatsoever from the plug. Okay, now I'm going to set that aside to dry. Here's how the fire piston works. Put a little piece of char cloth right here in the divot. Add some petroleum jelly around the O-ring and smear some on the rod itself in order to uh, assure a good seal. Next, place the piston inside the tube, place it on a flat surface and push hard. The fire You can see that the char cloth is lit pretty well. So you can take a little bit of it out now and then put it 
on a pile of tinder and blow. That's how you would start a bigger fire using a fire piston. In order to actually start a fire, you'll need something like this. This is called char cloth. It's pyrolyzed cotton cloth. It's perfect tinder. It catches fire very, very easily. There are many sites on the internet that show you how to make your own char cloth. It's easy to make. All it takes is some cotton fabric, some charcoal, and an old tin can. Check any one of a hundred sites and you can learn how to make that important product for yourself. After it's been assembled, you may need to do some troubleshooting in order to get your fire piston to work correctly. I'm going to show you the two places that people most commonly have problems. The first place is here. This seal, the plug going into the tube, must be completely airtight. When you epoxy it into place, make sure the epoxy is spread completely over the interior and you put a little bit of extra uh, epoxy on the edges to make sure no air can escape. If it does escape, you're going to have to re-epoxy the joint. The other place where people often have trouble is making the char cloth. It seems simple, but it can be difficult. If you see a flash in the bottom of the cylinder, yet the char cloth does not ignite, the problem is not with the fire piston, it's with the char cloth you made. Try another batch, and keep trying until you get it right. Well, that's about all I have to say. Again, thanks for buying the kit. I'm Bill Gerstel. Bye-bye.